Well, Coach, I appreciate you joining me today. This has been a somber day and a difficult day. Everyone in the country is feeling it, but I know you are all really feeling it there at Central Catholic. I just want to dive into last night. When you were watching those moments, when you saw what happened to DeMar, what was going through your mind and your heart? Uh, it's just the, the absolute horror for a football coach, a parent, a fan. You're just watching a scene unfold that you makes your stomach sick. Yeah, and, and DeMar is somebody you coached. He was the class of 2016. What was he like on the field? Uh, he's a tremendous player, but uh, that belies the fact of what an incredible person he is. He was just always willing to reach across uh, any line of communication to another fellow student, a fellow teammate, a coach, and anybody. He just he absorbed it all. He was very, very steady kid. Even, even demeanor in all situations. He went through some adversity in his life. He went through some adversity uh, as a player, but it was always the same at DeMar, you know? I'll keep my mouth shut and I'll keep working. And uh, obviously the benefits paid off. Sure, he dreamed of playing in the National Football League. He probably dreamed of playing in the Monday night football game. And then this horror unfolds. You know, one of the things that is so important to any human being, no matter where they work is and what they do, is their character and who they are. And you spoke directly to that. I don't know if you've seen uh, one of the most interesting things to come out of this, um, his foundation, the Chasing M's Foundation, that toy drive that he was trying to raise money for this toy drive. And I know he's done that for the last couple of years. And since last night, I think the original goal was $2,500 on this GoFundMe. He has raised, they have raised $4.2 million. Have you seen this? I, I have heard something to that. I've been here all day, so I haven't been able to watch any news. But that's the platform of the National Football League. And DeMar used his personal platform to, to, to help people. I mean, again, not, not a lot of headlines until today about that charitable organization, but it was slow, steady work for his community. Yeah, and that speaks to the character you're speaking about, both on and off the field. Let, let me ask you about how people are processing this in the community there at the school. What are you hearing and seeing from others? Well, I obviously grave concern for his well-being. Now, school is not in session right now. They come back tomorrow. So this is a little bit vacant. But my athletic trainer, my communications director, and myself, uh, all, all feeling the same thing, just, just a collective hope and prayer that he recovers fully. What would you say to the fans out there, the people who are watching this, who are seeing this happen, and they're praying and they're hoping deeply right now? What would be your message to those people? Uh, just stay at it. Demar's a fighter. Demar has so much to give left. He was just coming into, you know, he had, he was a man, of course, but he was beginning to show the world, not just Central Catholic or the University of Pittsburgh or or his his neighborhood of McKees Rocks, just what an incredible person he uh, is. And I, we're just hoping that he's given that chance to continue on that path. Well, we're going to be praying for you and the community there. Coach, I appreciate your time today.